A trial is now getting underway for a 25-year-old woman accused of murdering a Mason couple and their 10-year-old little girl with her car. Abby Michaels accused of intentionally driving the wrong way on I-75 and then crashing head-on into the Thompson family. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is live at the Montgomery County Courthouse where testimony in this bench trial is now underway. Karen. Good evening, Mike. One of the first witnesses to take the stand was Abby Michael's husband at the time of the deadly crash, Kyle Pastorelli. He did testify, but he asked not to have his face shown. St. Patrick's Day 2019, Abby Michaels is seen here in the green festive hat at Ron's Pizza in Miamisburg. Prosecutors point her out again, leaving the restaurant at 743 that night. 11 minutes later, her husband, who filed for divorce two days earlier, says Michaels called him asking to come over. I was pretty, you know, adamant on no, it's not, we're not doing this, it's not going to happen. And that's when she told me that she was driving at the time, and that's when she told me that she was going to drive backwards on 75. Minutes later, Kyle Pastorelli says Michael sent him a text message. What was the substance of those two text messages? Goodbye, I love you, I'm dying now. By 8.10 that night, Marine police were dispatched to I-75 South for a head-on crash. Timmy Thompson, his wife Karen, and their 10-year-old daughter Tessa were killed as they were heading home to Mason after visiting family up north. Prosecutors say Michaels intentionally drove the wrong way on the interstate, and they called a witness who described the turns he says he saw her car make. They were coming up the shoulder here, turns in through here and right through up through there. The defense says Michael suffered from a seizure disorder, which led to her not being in physical control of her car. During cross-examination, Michael's ex-husband testified to her medical issues. You were asked about seizures and whether you'd actually seen any in the seven years. You know she's had them, correct? Yes. You know she's been hospitalized for them, correct? Yes. And Michaels is charged with six counts of murder and three counts of aggravated vehicular homicide. Last Friday, she did waive her right to a jury trial. So this is a bench trial happening here in Montgomery County. Also on Friday, three additional three additional charges of aggravated vehicular homicide and an OVI charge were dismissed. Reporting live in Dayton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you.